So, uh, I did a bad thing. Normally, I play this game with a uh, friend zero. I forgot to check if he was actually available today. <laughs> I it completely skipped my mind that until like five minutes ago. So, uh, if he shows up, that is fantastic. I not I not sure that, that will happen. So. We're going to switch games to something else. Just just a sec while I, while I get it set up. But, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, while I do that, how's everyone doing today? I hope you had a good day. I'm, I've been kind of buzzing with excitement passively through the entire day because the sub-goal. That is very close and... I didn't expect to have to make good on that promise so soon. The idea of having to play through Fallout New Vegas with only a 357 revolver. I really hope I did a good job planning my build. <laughs> yeah. So I just get things set up. Instead of playing a retro game we're going to be playing a uh, ender lilies because <clears throat> first of all this is a very good metroidvania like game and second of all i want to play it more uh, that's really the big reason um uh don't i have a Capture. Ah! Uh, I'm I'm not used to playing games on my on my laptop or not my laptop. I have a desktop now. I'm not used to playing games on this. So <laughs> let me get that that sweet sweet desktop audio on and start a new game. I've only played a little bit of this, like, past the second boss, and, oh, I love it so much. At last we meet. I can hardly believe it, yet here you are, alive and well. Can you hear my voice? Ugh. Yeah, that's the intro art, and the art style doesn't stop going that hard for the entire game. This is... Symphony of the Night's beautiful. Ender Lilies is just taking that idea of, let's make a damn pretty game that's fun to play, and improved. You awake, and none the worse for wear. Did I frighten you? You can thank the priestess for my incorp incorporeal form. Do you remember what fate befell this land? Oh, Lily's so cute. The, the girl is so cute. So you've lost your memories as well. Let us be rid of this place for now. It may be best to, for you to see the state of things outside for yourself. What's over here? Oh! Statue inscription. Stone statues in the likeness of the white priestesses. The inscriptions below intact, below the intact statue reads, Priestess of the Dawn, while the ruined statues seem to have been one of the Priestess of the Wind. Uh, I just... Nice darn all strong. Although the one thing is, I, I am playing this on game on a controller just because the style I'm more comfortable on controller anyway. Ooh. Do not be afraid. Wield my power as your own. You seem more than capable. 
Just because that's how I always have played games. But the downside is I'm used to Nintendo or uh, PlayStation prompts. So I get the buttons mixed up all the time. Like right now, that's left trigger. But, it, but if it was PlayStation, that would be right trigger, the shape of it. And I've just been hitting left trigger, which is why I go diving all over the place. Um, this game, I haven't really, before I picked up Symphony of the Night, I never, uh, really checked much into the Metroidvania genre. Ah! There we are. Just for whatever reason, I guess it's because there's a big point where I wasn't really interested in side-scrollers for some stupid reason, but... Man, I am really excited to see, ah, Elaine's letter. I'm really excited to see all the new influx of new retro style games that just are a love letter to the old stock, the old like classic games. I love that so much. Um, okay, the music straight up slaps, but it's a bit excessive. Dear Sigrid, I want you to deliver the amulet onto that white priestess. It's a necklace I bestow upon all priestesses, but I've imbued it with a blessing. I'm certain the ward will protect her from the threat of the blighted. Warts can be broken and restored, but that is something only a priestess can manage. I count on you to see this through. Yours, Elaine. All right, and we've unlocked health restoration. Main menu. Which, again, the art in this game is so good. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I have tits now. You can throw things at me. Throw all the things. Oh my, that's a little excessive, but that's the reason why <laughs> For right now, I'm the only one who can flood thing. Who can use the flood command. <laughs> That's... Ooh, amulet fragment. Part of an amulet worn by a white priestess. The tiny shattered fragment still glows with a faint light. Health up. Nice. Oh, that's one way to open door. Ah! So what we fi so here so far what we have figured out is that this game borrows quite a lot from Dark Souls. On the Blighted One, as the mind, body, and soul of those aff afflicted with the blight is consumed, rot spreads throughout. The rot possesses sub sub superb regenerative properties, granting undying flesh. The link between mind and body is cut in time, and the host is driven purely by the wrath of the blight. Yeah, there's... and respites. How fare you? Let us rest a spell. So the, what I'm really getting from this game is a nice mix of as a bit of Dark Souls with the idea of you're coming in late to a ruined kingdom being besieged by some thing, some supernatural thing, and also has, oh wow, the music is still peaking. Not that I mind because this music is, in my opinion, another thing it gets from from uh, Dark Souls. It It's good. It's really good. But it also has... Oh. Hollow Knight's another direct comparison, which I'm mostly thinking of because of the bench act aspects. Memories. Prologue opening. Oh. I'm, I'm going to watch the prologue because it's good.
and I needed a drink. problem with comparing it to ah, on the blighted too there are blighted whose minds do not fade this is no saving grace however as it is said that they must endure an eternity of pain and suffering the miracle of the white priestess is the only true salvation for those who come to be cursed with the blight but i'd say that it's tenuous to compare this game to Hollow Knight because it's the same idea of kind of Souls-like Metroidvania, but at that point it's just, what do you compare it to? Do you compare it to the source material or to a game that's drawing on the same source material? Hard to say. But it definitely has Metro, like the soul inspiration, the primary inspiration of the Metroidvania genre, and then borrows a lot of kind of environmental storytelling and ex ah, I'm being cut. Bad zombie. How the notes really only exist to show the explicit thing, because from the notes we are told what the blight is. Uh, given a little information about these white priestesses, and know that... <clears throat> enough to know that Lily, our character, is a white priestess. And then the rest of how things went... of how dangerous is the Blight, and how did things go to hell, is just... you're exploring these... these ruins. So I think comparing this to Hollow Knight is an instance... Oh, right. Now let's continue on this way. An instance of, uh... Two similar ideas... Oh, no. I'm, I'm having none of this here, sister. <laughs> I do not apologize for that. I should also, in case anyone wants to punish me for anything, any bad puns I say during this, I do have tits now. Uh, the throwing system, that is. This way should lead back up. And ledge grab is a bit tetchy. Oh, I should heal. There we are. Man, I am messing up. I am struggling on the basic blighted. Hey, level up. The Parish Way, one. My god, the, the music is good, but it swells so much. But I love it so much. Parishway 1. Carriers of, rot, of the rot appeared from the land of snow, bringing calamity to land's end. Said to be the ancients' revenge, the rot drove people to madness and transformed them into monstrosities. Carriers of the rot came to be known as the Blighted. Uh, 
I eh eh but I want I want that tainted by the blight never to die we call these creatures the blighted save here now there's I think these this is a uh, this one, oh, right, the first boss. <sighs> the air is thick with the raw of the blight. Take heed. She looks so sad. Like, just look at her. Oh, I want to give, want to give her a hug. It's just, ah. No, oh. to protect her. I must destroy, 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 destroy. She looks a lot less sad now, but nope. Okay. Ah. Oh, it's Sigrid. Or Sigrid. T-Rex, the air is thick, good luck. Also, hi. Welcome, T-Rex. Glad you can make it. I've only played a little of this game before, about to the second boss, but I love it so much. Just the mood, the atmosphere, the character design. Ah. Gone. I will probably end up hyper focusing a lot. I made a, the randomizer for that game. Oh, you made a randomizer for this. That's in, that's incredible. I want. I was supposed to protect you. I haven't really thought of randomizing this, but it wouldn't make. It would be just as well as anything else. Don't. She was our only hope against the immortal Blighted. With unflinching resolve and a smile on her face, she epitomized radiant tenderness. My sister's letter informed me that the priestess was in poor health. It seemed that the burden of her purification rituals was taking its toll. I couldn't rejoice at the peace she brought at the cost of her own well-being. Moreover, I couldn't forgive myself for not being able to protect her as a guardian. Now, it was my own sister who was chosen for that role. My darkest hour, I found solace in Lily, who was much like the priestess herself. Even if I couldn't serve her as a guardian, the least I could do was protect her. But then, the rain began to fall. Cries of pain ran out in the distance. The chief guardian called it the Reign of Death. I gave Lily sanctuary and took my weapon in hand. The rain never let up. Sigrid guarded the sept to protect the white priestess Lily. Never-ending bloodshed caused her to be consumed by madness. And we just... I love that. We immediately get the double jump. The soul has been purified, no longer imprisoned by the blight. Within that memory just now, the woman called you Lily. Surely, that is your name. If you retrace the memories of the blighted in life, you may have just remembered something yourself. It may prove difficult, but can you carry on? Now we're backtracking because there's something we could get. And resting to equip Seagrid. Uh, Memories. 
spirit. We'll just equip her to both sets because I usually forget which one, which button does what, and switch between them. Ah, and soiled prayer beads. A rosary worn by the white priestess's guardian. Extensive training took place underground until someone was cho chosen to be her protector. All right, now that we have some, <laughs> a lot of dialogue out of the way, a randomizer for this would be cool, because I suppose you'd have to, you'd have to leave the bosses in place. Simply, audio sure loves getting up there. Simply because. Each boss has a movement ability. But yeah, it'd mostly be moving those pickups around, as well as things like the blight pickups you can find elsewhere and all that. I suppose, no, you could even change which boss spirit you get. Nah, I should just check out this randomizer. <laughs> Are you all right? Don't push yourself. Take a rest. Won't spoil the game for you, but there's some unexpected ways to progress through the game. Yeah, I have seen a full playthrough of this before. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I was watching a historian go through it. So he's commenting on like, oh yeah, this medieval style looks like this. Uh, we can see they're going off of these depictions and all that. But yeah. Uh, the reign of death, bringer of light. Yeah, I suppose it doesn't... The nice thing of a Metroidvania is that the whole style is... You're trying to get enough transversal mechanisms, like double jumps, grapple hooks, uh, ground slams, in order to get to essentially the next traversal mechanism to get to the ending. Chaos has taken the villagers long before even my arrival. But did the rain end them, or the blighted? My bond with the priestess is a per perennial one. I may not be able to lead the charge in this form, but my blade is yours. Don't look so surprised. You think me the sort of wretch to leave a child out in this horrid rain? Let us trudge on. Some of the spirits you get can also replace double jump, for example. Have you met before? It seems that their cognizance faded before succumbing to madness. They don't appear to be a threat, but best keep your distance. And read this quick. Groa's letter. Dear Bale, thank you for your continued service in faring the White Priestess and her guardians. My son hopes one day to be as fine a coachman as you, to ride as gallantly on a, as fine a horse. Please, do call on us when you visit the parish. Blessed be the tranquil white light, Groa, Chief Guardian. Yeah, true, there... There are, after a while, movement abilities either become redundant or I do remember hearing of a trick of using uh, the knockback from your spirit attacks to just slightly push Lily up high enough that you can could grab a ledge or do a forward charge and get onto the neck and get to somewhere you can grab. Ah! Dodging is a challenge as always. Anything up here? Nope. Just you. I know levels don't actually matter at all. It's... Ah. White flowers. So these restore my prayers, and the red ones restore charges for attacks. Good stuff. Yeah, levels don't really matter other than just a mark of progress. I think they give you 
they give you negligible increases to, at the very least, health. Yeah, they give some damage, but overall, I think it's like plus one per level. Oh, not health, just damage, right. Yeah, you have to find the, the amulet shards in order to get health. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. Yeah. Ooh, managed to flop on there. Nice. What's down here? Absolutely nothing in note. One or two by levels. It helps some, but ultimately for substantial... It's better than nothing, and it is something I'll take, but... Ultimately, for anything that's noticeable, like, it's not a game that you can, if you're having trouble with a fight, go and grind. Yeah. I'll have to remember that's there. It's so cold. Where are you? Mother. It is, however, enough damage that we've that we've... Oh, I forgot that that's not a pickup. That's a mini boss. Only in speed. Yeah, speed run. That would be where you see the bi the difference. Because oh. you're like level twenty behind, and it's true. That is more like uh, the level up mechanism would be less of anything on its own, and more of a way to gate progress to make it just a little easier to get into the areas you should be and a little bit harder to kind of shoot you out of areas you're not supposed to be yet. Cliffside Hamlet Youth. Separated from his mother in the midst of a terrible storm, the boy set off for the White Parish in search of help. He never arrived. Uh, is there anything up here or just another way up? Yeah, I suppose it's just uh, the level up system is another kind of nod to the inspiration it takes from Souls-like games where you can get wherever you want. Like, wherever you want to go is where you should be. But it's going to be easier if you approach it in some semblance of order. Hold. Something approaches. Or rather, it follows. I sense no clear mind. It seems to be drawn by your amulet. Perhaps they were once in service to a white priestess. Is there desire to assist us? You priestesses are a rare breed. Thank you, zombie horse. Now? Oh no, it's just a crest. I'm like, wait, is the body of the coachman draped over this back here? Nah, eh, just a bloody crest. Fast travel, now accessible. And we have the... The Hamlet Youth. Which... And no reason. Nope. Don't want him there. I want Sigurd there. No reason not to have a full... Full bumper of... Of spirits on both. Just don't have anything else to do with it. Perish way too. Soldiers of the nation rose to face, the, to face the blighted, but struggled in vain. In the end, the prayers of the woman in white saved the kingdom. Her words are the only thing capable of purifying and stopping the blighted. Revered by the people, the, this woman came to be known as the White Priestess. Dutch. There we go. I am slowly learning what button does what. It is slowly, though. Ah. Dang it. I was really hoping I could at least hit that to get it to... to dissipate or something. Oh. 
perfect that balances for someone like me to get hit more times than not. Seems this was once a village. Ah! Ah! That was just awful. There's nothing that went right in that approach. Got some blight and a bit of health, it seems. Oh, that had... Dang it, that's not a platform. Ah. Excuse me while I hyper-focus through all this. Eh. Ah, another amulet fragment. Nice. Alright. That guy looks like he had a rough time of things here. Oh. Ah, I got too close and got scratch damage. So I think... Yeah, with enough... Couple more abilities, we could probably can have to come back for that jump, which might be useful, might not be. Ah, and the youth missed. Fire the kid! Dang, the kid does not have, do, just does not have the vertical to hit those crows. Oh, I did hit something of use though. I'll take that. One, two, dodge. Oh! That's a heck of a backswing. I didn't even notice I was hitting that guy. Hmm. Ah. Ow. I can't get up there either. These early levels are just rotten with all these little teases of, oh yeah, you can get this one day, but it's just a little bit out of your reach until later. I suppose the real point of any Metroidvania is the backtracking. It's just falling apart there. Guy remember to mix in more spirits. Because the temptation I always fall in is, oh, these spirits are a limited resource. I should treat them as a limited resource and not use them at all outside of very specific situations. Where the reality is, no, there's like a bench every so often and ways to replenish it in the middle of combat. It's fine to use. Right there, I just got two more. Just got a refill on, on the charges for nothing but breaking a few crates. Ah, yep. This is the path of the most resistance. Ah! Dang it. It's one hit away. Thing. Yeah. Oh, before we go on, I do want to want to read through the collections because this is just. If you didn't think that you want to hug Lily before, the descriptions of her base actions are just even more endearing. Uh, ground. Freya Lily's jump list lifts her slightly off the. Ah, frail Lily's jump lifts her slightly off the ground. She can grab ridges or ledges and reach and climb up. Lily evades with a great deal of effort, allows her to briefly avoid contact with the enemies and their attacks. Swim. Uh, Lily is a dreadful swimmer and cannot hold her breath for long. She can paddle along the surface but cannot dive under blighted water. And switch spirits. Also, these... Icons are just even more adorable. So there is a route down, but I think that connects to the next 
to the next dungeon. Which... There's no real reason to go in before we beat the boss through this path. Ah! Why did I... What am I doing here? Why did I jump when I should have dodged, and why did I dodge when I should have jumped? Dodge through, heal because we have the resources to burn. There. I just stood there and. <laughs> I just stood there and took it. I think Sigrid is one of my favorite spirits, simply because you can drop her, she'll do her attack, and you can walk away. It is so handy, especially for the first boss, where you can drop her right before he starts a mad combo and still get damage on him. Alright. Get the crow, because if I... And just throw the child at him. Hmm. Well, got an annoying archer out of the way, but... <laughs> oh. What's this here? Missed this on the first go-through. The girl who became a guardian lies underground. Oh, so that'd be a uh, Sigurd sister then. Oh, thank God, White Lily. That is needed. Because I decided the best course of action is just stand in all these enemies' attacks and take them. Better to dodge away early than to just sit there and let and try to get the maximum amount of combos off. Unless you dodge right into them. <laughs> ah, dang it. And I have to start taking this a bit slower. I'm either I'm either going way too fast and dodging... Yeah, I'm either going way too aggressive and getting hit by attacks I should dodge and let play out. Or I'm going a bit too cautious and dodging too early and hitting the enemy themselves instead of going through them. Eh. Yeah. Ugly. I thought I needed a bit more, a little bit more oomph to punch through Fatso. Uh, I'm going left first. There might be, a, right's the way we have to go and there will be an exit. But I really want to see what's over to the left. See if there's something worth getting. Ah! New plant. Okay, that might not have been the best idea, but it worked out. Oh, Sylvie, welcome. Oh, sweet. Also, the bot message has shown is working. Finally. How are you doing tonight, Sylvie? Or today or this afternoon, wherever you are. Surprisingly, not a retro game. Well... That's because my original plan of uh, going on with a Soul Link Nuzlocke with a friend of mine fell through because I forgot to actually see if he was around. And it works out. I mean, this is a... Ooh. No, wait, that's where it came from. 
It's still a Metroidvania. It takes a lot from a, from a retro game. Uh... All right. But yeah, not a retro game for once. Hoping to get into more of these retro and ah! Oh, that yeet I did on myself was surprisingly prophetic. What game is this horror? Uh, it's Ender, Ender Lily's Quietest of the Night. It's a Metro Metroidvania similar to uh, Castlevania or any game in the Metroid series, but with a little bit more inspiration from Dark Souls in that you really have to dodge your attacks because you have limited amount of heal, a limited amount of... <laughs> Ow. A limited amount of resources and enemies are a bit intense. It's great fun and also the music and art is immaculate. <laughs> and I also got the Twitch integrated throwing system too. <laughs> Which is a fun time. I was messing with that a lot before stream because I finally had a little bit of time to mess with that and see. Okay, what's tits all around? How do you do this? I want to do that to my model. So, ah. It's really, it's actually really easy to... To set up, it's all just um, one pre-existing plugin called the Twitch Integrated Throwing System. That it costs 15 bucks, but it's super easy to set up. It's just a separate. Uh, on my OBS, I have a separate game overlay that is set up similarly to VTube Studio. Although you don't need it, you can do it without without uh, VTube Studio and just have a standalone. <laughs> oh, if you think that one's fun. I have Knockback. Yep, night. And a couple other things. And you can just set up all through a pretty easy to use GUI. What do you, what you want to throw if you want to do a, a is there a free option? Unfortunately, not. Yeah, I was messing around with it a lot beforehand. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no free option. Mass produce bread. Ah, I wonder how it'll be. If I do this, uh, what? The, oh, the game captures. If I do this and do rain, <laughs> uh, I am having way too much fun with it. <laughs> Now, from what I've heard, tits is one of those things that it's op very much optional to streaming. But it's just very fun to give chat away to bully you. And they have a bunch of things that are... They have a bunch of pre-made 3D objects that you can throw in and they react with physics. But you can also just put in PNGs like... Ah! I got two. I was talking about tits and got distracted. Didn't see the zombies. Oh, un I'm adding that as a quote. So cute. So cute. Ah, thank you. Yeah, they're suited because it's a just a bread roll. Like one of the first thing is between that and my little 
blocker screen of being just too many of my bodies, it works surprisingly well. <laughs> ah. Aha. Juked him. Ah. Get him, Sigurd. Yeah, there's the only limit of what you can throw at yourself with tits is what do you have a 3d model or two or 2d image of <laughs> oh yeah let's ah i didn't dodge okay if it's suited to hum yeah it might be a bit weird to throw copies of yourself with a more humanoid model but it is designed to set up to make it look... Ah, I just hit the wrong button there. It is set up with humanoid model in mind. So suited for non-animated object. <laughs> oh wait, no, I didn't want to go this way. That's the way I came. So suited. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the the game back on. Let me just drop this in my game screen so it actually looks properly in there. <laughs> All melted in the rain. I forgot. I forgot that I turned it off for the purposes of demonstration. Ah. <laughs> Fortunately, this rain is a little bit more sinister than that one. <laughs> but it's unintentionally perfect. <laughs> now, how are you doing today, Sylvie? Uh, oh, no, I, I, that's not a secret. I keep thinking that's a secret, but it's just the path. Having fun? Oh, that is Great to hear. <laughs> oh. Great to hear. I'm just a little bit... I don't quite have enough damage to get the crows with one thing. And that is annoying. There's juke behind them. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Excuse the hyper focus while I try try not to get hit. And I want this additional stuff on my stream. Fifteen bucks is expensive though. Yeah, that I'm lucky that... Oh, I spy a shack over yonder. Let's rest our weary bones. Yeah, I'm lucky that I had a bit of money just spare away for it. True Believer's Note. After the Blighted started to appear in Land's End, may many religions quickly began to die out, including the True Way. Seeking hope, many flocked to the White Priestess. It is likely that the Way of the White Priestess arose there and spread amongst the people. Does 15 bucks cover everything you just did earlier, or is it just for throwing of items? Uh, it's everything I did. Well, the th everything that everything that's in the tits command, that's all covered by the 15 bucks. If you're talking about the screen cover here, this is just something I did with VTube Studio and hotkeys. But VTube Studio, that does have a free option and is just 15 bucks to get rid of a watermark, which if you, which most people have, <laughs> thanks for the bear, <laughs> which most people just have that for because they're using it so often and 
if you don't buy the watermark removal DLC, you can just hide it pretty easily. I should enhance a couple people. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Seems the past leads off from here. Shall we take a look? It's a fun thing, but fortune, but fortunately, it's not necessary. Oh, right! This game has fall damage for everyone but Lily. If you get their uh, health, their stamina bar down, they'll go flying, and if they fall from like any height, then they take a pretty good amount of damage. Ugh. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll probably go just buy these to use bit redeem option while I go affiliate. <laughs> I think most people most people don't have them on uh, commands like I do, simply because. Uh, let's go in here. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Probably something to introduce during the debut. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good thing. It's. I I was a bit hesitant and held off buying uh, tits for so long simply because it it meshes better with affiliate be willing for that at least ah. fortunately for me I have a very low catch rate oh no I shouldn't have healed there <laughs> yeah because it naturally just works with uh, point redeems and bits and follows and all that, but I really wanted it. <laughs> and hey, hopefully the turnout's good enough for uh, the debut that which, first of all, I'm, I'm excited for that. That's going to be great. And the turnout might be good enough that, wait, can I go down instead of Oh, up and over that that'd be nicer that it pays for itself very quickly uh, nope this was a mistake No, because you could have these commands for now, but convert them to bit slayer when you're affiliate. Yeah, I could. Although I like the, I like the idea of throwing stuff so much. I might at least keep like the, keep a couple light ones as commands, mostly because I think it, it's a very fun thing to spam. I know on several peop several friends who have it, uh, they're. Their yeet commands or throwing is probably responsible for. Oh, I thought he was dead. Is responsible for 95% of my point drains. Okay, we're just gonna run through here and fight the main boss again. Yeah. Oh, we have full heals, so that won't be missed. But, oh, this is going a lot better this time. I really wish I could could have gotten his stamina down, but now, if only I could see my wife and daughter one last time. Now, 
Yeah, have it as point redeems. I'd be willing to use my points on that. <laughs> Western Merchant. This merchant from a western land came to Land's End peddling foreign wares. A vibrant salesman who would light up when touting his rare stock. Yeah, it's really fun if uh, if you kind if you manage to overload the streamer's PC. I have locked up people's models by spamming. Aha! Can't hurt me over there, you stupid zombie. Down the hole. And also the ones with knockbacks. Those are fun too, because if you get like a massive bit donation, you fly off the screen for a minute. For like 10 minutes. Also, I think I'll use the throwing when someone subs to be just in case someone spams gifted subs. <laughs> yeah, that's really fun when someone drops like 10 subs and it's just. Stagnant blight. Filthy residue shed by a purified blighted. The sorrowful muck is stagnant, but glints in the faint light, allowing you to enhance your skills at respites. Yeah, like that. Alright, all the slugs. Whew. Just jump off. There. And now we're well back where we were. Wait till you see mass big catch. <laughs> oh, I'm being abused. This is grievous harm with my own body. <laughs> Should have gotten this a while ago. Oh, what's this? Fragment. Nice. so much. I'm loving these even more that people are getting so much so much uh, enthusiasm and joy out of them. Wait, was it Mass Big Catch or Big Mass Catch? Or Oh, I know. I just have habit. It's Camel Case. I thought. What's it? I forgot what I have. I could have... Okay, let me pull up tits, because this is going to bug me. Mass catch, big catch. Did I not set up a... Huh. Well, let me remedy that right now. Selected name customization options. Nope, not chat message command. How many do I do for mass catch? Fifteen. There we go. I'll ask you more deep tales on uh, Twitter later. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Like, feel free. My DMs are always open, partially because I don't know how to close them, partially because I don't want to. I'm more than happy to go through the map, go through uh, how tits work after stream. See, when you said tits, I thought there would be a mass throw of actually actual tits on you. Ah. <laughs> uh. So I only set this up right before <clears throat> I only set this up like right before stream. I have a couple more images that I want to throw on, but I actually have to 
edit them. Like, I got a picture of a salmon that I wanted to throw on myself, but it has a white background. It's not like a transparent PNG, so next stream you can probably throw tits at me. This sounds awful out of context. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need 30 for the rest. <laughs> oh, right. This area. Oh, yeah, you can customize. It's largely a combination of any any flat PNG oh, I didn't even see him down there any flat PNG that you can have you can throw at yourself oh my god Loki kind of think this is worth it now hey again if you think it's worth it then so long as it's not breaking a budget go for it but it, it is pretty fun oh no I thought you were a belly flopper, not a stomper. <laughs> on. Ah, secret was just right out of reach. Can I get up here? No, I cannot. That is an adventure for another time. Uh, there's nothing down here, but... Nothing down there but basement. Ew. Squishy. I think having him as just a turret through here is... Yeah, that's a play. It's inflation. Ah, yeah, that is... Inflation and the exchange rate for so high that it's, it would be more expensive if you're not on the US dollar or Bear eh. I have seen people use a dono get dono goal for it if it if that's something uh, that you're comfortable with but I was so close to being... I was so close to healing. Almost got that off. Just get the merchant up because it's nice to have a turret. Gives me a little... Ah. God, if I could redirect... If I could redirect my tits to be hitting these enemies... I would have a so much easier time at all this. <laughs> all right. No reason to engage those, so we simply will not. All right. Stupid slug. Alright, now that we've picked them apart, this is going to be a lot easier. Yeah, so speaking of how of how uh, this game takes a lot of inspirations from Dark Souls, can can you customize the items thrown at you on eat? Yeah, yeah. I ha uh, so I have really two different versions of every command. Yeet is the one that has just everything in it, including the basic ones. But the way bread works, the well, the way the bread command works is that it's identical to yeet. It just uses different items for what to th throw. So it's very customizable. Come on, Fatso. There we go. Get bent, Tubby. <sighs> Again, I just sat there and took it. Yeah, I have that one to set up so that it just throws my model at him 
or at myself, and then all the catch ones uses a Pokeball based on me that a friend a friend drew or a Suki drew. I'm gonna switch to this to arc it over. Ah, belly flop. Ah, I keep on healing in dangerous situations. I gotta, gotta back off a bit. Uh, no. Yeah, back on the how this game draws from Dark Souls. There's usually a place in Dark Souls where you're given very early on multiple enemies just kind of out in a plaza where the sight lines work so that multiple can multiple foes can see you and you have to figure out how to pick your way through there oh nope nope don't want to be up there in a way that alerts them to you only one or two at a time and this is kind of the same thing it's the same idea of teaching the player okay you really have to pick your battles. Let's see if from the tutorial we've given you and the easier encounters, if you've learned how to do that. Ah. Yes, get him, secret. This is a, like a software, right? So meaning I can share this? Uh, I'm not, I'd have to check the license. It's not open source, so it's generally, it's considered piracy if I, if you were to just send the whole package to someone else. But yeah, it's just software. Tits is, uh, is a long-standing just on itch.io you can do a quick google on for the twitch integrated throwing system and find it no problem oh, oh no i got the heel off before the belly flop yeah the belly flops rough and i want the youth not secret can I get up there? No, I can't. God, they are so stingy with the safe with the respites right through here. Can you sneak down through here? Yes. <laughs> At this point, I just want to find a save, a save point or some. Oh, another what? Another lily. I'll I'll take that. Hmm. Can I dive and no? Nope. Dive puts me at too low an angle. Eh, yeah, get him, secret. Oh. Nice amulet. Fragment. Ha! Oh, that was a that was a good accidental combo. Uh check the exchange rate is so high. Eesh. Well, at least we're in agreement on one thing. Ah, the headless defender. Probably wait till it lowers down or something. Yeah, at least we can all agree on one thing. Inflation is only the worst. Come on. Ah! I wasn't expecting to get that.
given the choice, I'd rather have lost my mind than this. Well, friends, seeing as you're headless, I'd argue that you have lost your mind. Headless Defender. A knight who followed in the footsteps of the hero, Jared, suffered the blight and upon, being, upon becoming immortal took its toll. He was beheaded for attacking his fellow knights. Well, Ortha for the Lily and the pass through here. Because the Headless Knight is essentially adding in a uh, parrying mechanic, something I haven't really used. Hamlet Request 1. Request. Fearless warrior needed to slay large monsters in the forest. Monsters have settled in the forest near the hamlet, wounding many of the king's soldiers. Rewards will be given for any of the fiends killed. Stand with us to protect our great nation. Knight of the Bastion. Heimel. All right. So... Gotten to the next saves place. Adherence letter. It is at the White Parish grounds in the catacombs where the Guardian candidates endure many years of training. They toil to fortify their bodies and minds to be deemed worthy of protecting the White Priestess. Selected from devotees of the church, it is said that only the ten finest candidates will earn that honor. Love the lore notes. Also, I love the fact that when you go inside or into a sufficiently sheltered area, the rain ambient sound or ambient noise just stops. How much does it cost for a sub? Uh, subs, I think, are five bucks, but the split between Twitch and Streamer is 50-50. The bigger problem is that Twitch pay out, Twitch only pays out in at checks of 100 bucks a piece. So in order to actually get it, you'd need enough subs to enough subs donation or subs or bits in order to in order to get to that 100 buck payout or ad revenues but further that isn't really great uh, and we're just going to go back here for a bit to see if there's anything useful we can get get before heading on to the next area. Uh, oh. Battle Nun? Hmm. Yeah, it seems like everything. Yeah, I think uh, as far as it goes for Twitch payouts, direct donations get a little more because because you can find different ways to have a more favorable split between the fees that it costs and also having an immediate. I, I know Twitch just can take a while. Anyway, on to the first boss. Oh, relics. Soil prayer. Ah. I missed something, because the first time I went through here, I also managed to get a music box item that reduced damage I took. Now! Dang it. Uh, Twitch doesn't bag it, it's... It's a running total. They'll never... So Twitch won't just, like... If you don't get to 100 bucks in a certain point, it doesn't default onto them. It's just possible that if you have, oh, say, $95 and have to go on hiatus for half a year or more, 
they'll they won't pay you out until you get that last five bucks. I need to heal. Whew. Kill me here, Garrod. Literally. Ah. Ah! He just yeeted me. Threw me. Like a common piece of trash. You did the child. Oh no. Ah, and I'm out of heals. Ah, this is going to take a couple goes to learn the fight again. Yeah, the ripoff really comes on with it. It's a 50-50 split, and I just jump the gun on all of my spirits. Ah! Ah! Too aggressive. That That's just the whole of it. You will always want... Okay, I remember this fight more. You always want to be behind Garrod. On the next freight... On the net later phases, he does get enough knockback on his mace that it becomes a bit of a problem, but for the most part, if you stay behind him... Oh. Yeah, and if he does the plunge, that's also knockback. That's just an AoE. Okay, okay, I'm getting this. Okay. Final phase, and we're doing much better. We've only healed once. And we've only healed twice! Alright, last push. Got this. Yes! Oh, we got him. Nice. The blighted scum. How could they? How could they? I hear the muffled voices of the villagers outside my shack. They fear what I have become upon my return from the fortress battle. I chose to become an immortal knight to protect them all. There are days I wish I would be purified, but... The priestess of the fount must not be made to carry that burden any longer. After some time, I hear voices again. But this time, they belong to the white priestess and a child. The priestess, once but a child herself, now cuts a radiant figure. I no longer know the pleasures of joy, but despite this, my cheeks widen in a grin. When madness takes me, will this little one be made to carry the burden? I don't know how long my consciousness will hold out. But as long as I am myself, I'll be a shield to protect them from harm. Aww. The pain I will endure is nothing compared to their suffering. Garrod, the elder warrior, a giant of a man, once dubbed the finest knight in the kingdom, he was a symbol of glory and a hero to his village. His altru altruism made his demise a lonely one. 
And Giant's Hammer. We can now Ground Pound. He protected the village to an end. A brave warrior, indeed. You were in his memory. Did you two visit him often? Bonk. <laughs> Ooh. Hamlet Scrawl, an image scrawled using Pagodite. It appears to be a doodle of the White Priestess of the Fount playing with the children of the Hamlet under a radiant sun. Ah, oh, perfect. The tutorial uh, wall. It seems she hid herself away with the village children. Priestess wish. Nice. Her prayer uh, will heal more now. Rest now, dear priestess. Oh. Well. That was just, all, for all intents and purposes, a defenseless little girl who got turned, killed and turned to blight along with all the other defenseless children hiding in that basement. Ugh. Hamlet Request 2. Warning. The catacombs are off limits. Blighted corrupt. Blighted, captured, and land's ends are being held in the catacombs. To reduce the risk of further spread of the blight, the catacombs are off-limits. Also note that, har that harboring individuals carrying the blight is a crime. Report any and all sight of the blighted to the Royal Guard immediately. Hmm. Can't go any further yet, given the chance I'd rather have lost my mind than this. Yeah, there's a wall here. Time to backtrack. So I think... Oh, nice, I can move and have the map up. Yeah, we've really done most everything we can on this path. Next is to backtrack and find a way that we can tackle next. Or... Well, first things first. Garrett is just a good thing to have in the B-set. And clear out the memories... Because he hits hard. Yeah, I know there's a couple places. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back and... And try to get some of the... Yeah, from Crossroads. See how many of these... Fall... Uh pressure points I can get with Garrett now. Because so I think we passed one or two. I just don't really recall where they were. Right, Garrett's great because, first of all, he does very high damage and is very good at sending people just flying. Boom. I haven't even upgraded him at all, and he's already doing. Yep. He's already doing the max stamina damage to a lot of people. Yeah, I still can't get up there no matter how much I want. Bonk, bonk. Uh, no, 
No, there's no way through down here. Ah! Dang it, I dodged right into that and got stun locked. I might have gone... Yeah, I might be a bit early for... Oh, no! I didn't cancel that in time either. Eh. Might be a bit earlier for the ones that I, I was thinking about through here. Uh, I want that map back up. Oh, guess we're not doing too bad for resources in the the backtracking. Oh, oh, I have to get on the other. S okay, I see how this area connects. I have to probably go past the the next bench in order to get get to the other side that leads to that waterway. And then I can open the gate on the other side. Oh. Thought I could outrun him. I was wrong. Hmm. I should've, should've healed before that. Yeah, sorely mistaken there. This is the next one I I wanted. Oh. Well, nothing for it but just push on through this last little bit. And, oh! A hello there. I think I found the uh, relic I, <laughs> that I was missing. Bonk. First things first. Yeah, broken music box. An old lullaby still leaks out from this music box, destroyed in the heat of battle. A note is attached. Dear child, I hope to see you in my dreams. Huh. Not enough height. I think if we jump off... Yeah, if we jump off the ledge up here, then we'll have enough height. Going down! Ah, that's the connection to to this basement sewer level. Oh no! Bombs. Chain of sorcery. Magical chain that links to the power contained in a relic. Yeah. Ah! Didn't expect a mimic! Did not expect that. Ah. Ah. There. Now we have m more HP and we take less damage. And save because we beat the first boss. Now, if we backtrack and we can get that to connect. <sighs> K. 
keep on getting buttons confused. Oh, those guys are easy at the very least. Ah, this mimic is intense. Got a path back for when we can finally get that relic. Hmm. Is there a way if I, like, I feel like I should be able to jump, hit, jump again. Nah, it's not out of my reach from the current skills that I have in game. So at the very least, I'll reach from the current skills I have out of game. <laughs> oh, no self, Jared is not fast enough for these guys. Oh, there's a way down. Stagnant like noise. Ah, almost. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna need a charge attack for that. That'll get us out, out of here in the other direction. Still a lever somewhere around here. Or. There's a lever somewhere else that connects to that. Ah, uh, I think I know you. It's probably the other entrance to there. Uh, where? Oh, no, I don't want to be up here. Yeah, it's probably another entrance or a wraparound that will get you what you want. Where you need to. I uh, think I've gotten everything in note. So if we go back to the crossroads. And compared to the first time through the game, I'm making much better progress. What a deep forest, and almost entirely submerged. Get bent, shroom mage. Ah, poison. This is this is a rough area. Thank God for the amount of times that I. That I think I'm safe to heal, and the game has differing opinions. Alright. You get a pretty good combo on them. And if we park... I was hoping if we parked, uh... Whoever the, the I forget who I forget who the nun with the ball and chain is. We park her by there. Then can get a good amount of damage even through the cloud. Hmm. Yeah, another level. <sighs> Gotta love Jared for nothing else. But the fact that he has such Range. Okay. No. Nope. Right. Can get in there now. Get out of poison.
probably have enough blight to to either enhance a one of the more demanding spirits or upgrade something a bit further. There's nothing more for us here. We just have to get get through here however we can. Okay, that is probably the most revolutionary feature ever put in a, red, in a Metroidvania. Letting you know when there's nothing else to be done in a room. Because <laughs> it doesn't even... It's not even much of a spoiler other than, oh, there's something to be found here. Ah, landed right on the mushroom and I did not bounce. It's just telling you, hey, there's more exploration to be done. Got more secrets for you to find. Which is, a, which is one of the problems I had when I gave the original Metroid a try. Because that game... Well... It's original. There's really not much to be said for it other than that. It came out in Super NES. Ah! Merperson. Get out of here, fish! <clears throat> and it not only has so many so much stuff. All of it is pretty well hidden. Oh, good, a respite. Then I'll go back and see if I can't figure out. I've seen this flower before. Then I'll see if I can't figure out what else there is to find. Oh, no, I wanted to enhance. But they had some pretty deviously placed secrets. I think between the two, I've found that Castlevania, if you're not familiar, is... Oh, Enhance. A bit more friendly t to beginners. Furious Blight, yes. Uh, and then upgrading Stagnant Blight. What's Stagnant Blight? Gotta do Guardian Secret. 29. Could do the Headless Defender, but I just don't use them. I think there's, it's just like a note or something back here that still want to get. Wish to know the lore. Mm. Can't get up there at all. Eh, I'll find it later. No. Nope. I'll have time. Ah. Coven Handbook. The Coven is a place for sorcerers who seek deeper knowledge of magic and the abyss. We help the jointly established White Parish aid in blighted eradication when needed. You must meet the approval of multiple sorcerers to join. Researching forbidden arts such as the magic of the ancients, wielding a weapon in the tower, and leaking intel to other nations are prohibited. There exists a place known as the Coven somewhere beneath us. The path forward may be flooded, but we must go on. Well, just here to find the flooded mushroom coven. Ah, almost fell off there. This... Oh. That crate... That crate in the... Berg left me a little... Bit nervous of whether or not things are going to be mimics or not. Especially because anything the size of a mimic can be a mimic. 
Gotta love it. Hey, more Furious Flight. Ain't that grand. Ah, poison. By the way, I have you on just lurking because I'm doing chores. Yeah, no worries at all. I can't figure as much, but yeah, if you have stuff to do or, or anything else, a lurk is so appreciated. I appreciate that so much. Thank you for lurking. <laughs> yeah. Shroom. There we go. Thought I could walk under that. I was mistaken. Gone. Oh, I would have died if I was an, a little slower with the heal. Or no, if I was a little closer. Look. Ah. Yeah, I hear you, stupid horse tooth jar. Fungal sorcerer. Uh, this... Come on, fall. Yes. This is going good. Nice, first try. Just bonk, bonk, bonk. I was so close to seeing her again. Fungal Sorcerer. Generates a toxic mist that reduces enemy health over time. Damage from the mist cannot be blocked. The sorcerer learned much on his travels beyond the bounds of Land's End. Despite his return home, he never did make it to the coven where his lover awaited. Ah. Sorry, dude. Oh, so the first time I tried to get this item right on the cliff, I did the same thing and I just hit the wrong buttons. But. <clears throat> Lover's letter. To my darling, upon reading your letter, I have decided to return. Ha I have seen and learned much on this half-year journey outside the coven. I ache to tell you of the scorching sand dunes, strange creatures, and so much more. I will be back soon with your souvenir. All my love, Melville. Ow. We just felt the speed up of shroomified Melville. But yeah, first time through, I tried to pick that up, but I got the buttons crossed, and dove face first off the cliff. And then I think accidentally I either died or missed this jump and had to reset everything. Uh, I just got through a pretty good boss battle. I'm gonna head back and heal up at the at the bench. Which God, you could charge a good amount of admission to to this area for that view alone. The, the bench under that tree. I wish. Something to... There's a switch to hit under this road we're on. Ah! Ah! Good thing I healed or else I would not have made it through this. Yeah, Garrett's great, but I really have to learn dodge, like the time, the frame timings for dodge cancel, sling with him. Okay, so we got that there. Oh, look, she climbs. Ah, adorable. Mm. Said so the coven was. 
below us when we walked in here. So I think I want I want to trend vaguely downwards while figuring out where I want to go. Although I think I don't have a choice. Well, I don't really have a say in that matter. Ooh, perfect. Now next time we die, we don't have to go through all that again. Down we go. What? Oh, I... Ah, the nerve of this game to describe Lily as frail and weak. Or she just casually swims up a waterfall. At least I assume that's a waterfall. It's equally likely that is just a bubble. Yeah, that's not flowing. I think that's a bubble. Ah, right into the... Right to the mushroom witch. Hate it when that happens. Really hate it when that happens, because there goes two of our prayers. Actually, there goes all of our prayers. Uh -huh. The coven is sunken. Let's see how far we can... Ooh, chest. Holy moly. What the heck are you, you plant monster? Ah. Ugh. Griffy. Oh, yes, I answered that question nicely. No matter what I do, dodge, I can't guard an attempt to get more distance. Ow. Ah! Close to that treasure chest, too. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we got the shortcut open, so let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> I know I've been a bit quiet uh, tonight when not. Just kind of uh, on and off and in general. But with the soundtrack, I don't actually care. It's good. Hmm. Alright, that's where I am. Oh, wait, I can just not have anything to do with those stairs. What's down here? Ah, secret way. Well, this is a secret way without a treasure chest, so what are we doing? On the secret, not so secret way with a chest. I got up here last time, didn't I? I could have sworn. Hmm. Ah, there it is. I just had to space them out. There. I'm going to have to learn how to I deal with his uh, siding, sideways attacks, but I can do that later. Manissa's ring, a relic left behind by the ancient 
and by the ancients and kept in the coven. Once treasured by a woman fond of flowers, an enchantment on this ring causes it to glow when held by a white priestess. I should have read. <laughs> I should have read what the actual thing was instead of the lore. Ah well, we're probably going to die soon enough, so I can equip it then. I got a good hit on them. Oh yeah, we don't have to deal with any of that. We could have just walked right through instead of taking the stairs. Enter. Don't. Oh. Now this is a... Oh, this is a respite. And... And it's pretty. Oh, slightly increases spirit use. Okay. I think that's better than a little bit more health. Can we enhance anyone? I uh, need ancient souls. Ah, we have enough furious bright light. He's the only one who takes it. So stagnant. We need 90 for an Another secret upgrade. But. Oh! The fungal sorcerer started at 12. Aquatic. So only the Umbral Knight and Secret are aquatic, so. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade the sorcerer just. Just in case we have to go swimming late. Well, when we have to go swimming later. Something over there. Anything in here breakable? Get down from there, you're gonna hurt someone. Namely me. Ah! Yeah, some underwater section we'll have to come back for. Ow! Ooh. Sorcerer's Notes. I have been studying the texts of the ancients, and it appears that there is a possibility of a connection between the Blight and one particular branch of their magics. If we could decipher more of these old texts found in the Blighted Lands, we could pursue this thread further. Enter. Ooh, another, another side chamber to enter. Hopefully with less water than the last. Ooh. Creating. And an amulet fragment tucked away. Ah. Now, as I said, I'm going to have to figure out how to dodge these guys. May as well be now. Oh, you look at that. It turns out the answer to, to how do you dodge these guys is you just press the dodge button. Oh! Garrett has a combo now. Oh, that is... He just got so much more powerful because of that. Because the two-hit combo, when that's mostly what you need to deal with people is powerful. Mm. Ah, I was trying to spike him in the water. Didn't take. Don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Eh, probably not. I think I'm looping back around to the entrance. Well, we'll see. Yeah, this is the way we came from. <laughs> hmm. I'll have to... I'll just have to backtrack a bit. 
Ah! Murder dude. I am not prepared for that level of combat. I have a feeling both of these rooms have a similar thing going on that you're going to need to come come back with more abilities. Or maybe not. There's another elevator and oh, we're still dry down here. <laughs> oh cool, he was breaking pots back here. Yeah. Mimic. Don't really get much from pots. Aside from the odd things like amulets, shards, and chains of sorcery. <laughs> but the biggest thing that pots do is make me nervous of mimics. <sighs> All those mi pots I defeated while playing Legend of Zelda, they're having their revenge. Ah! <laughs> Sylvie, you actually surprised me with that. <laughs> <laughs> Got too hyper focused and then suddenly I'm being assaulted. <laughs> uh oh, floral sorceress. And I have no resources. Well, that solved the, my issue for me. Take two. This time for sure. Ah! Oh. Good distance there. I get refunded if I'm at full health. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to switch Merchant with a Sorcerer. See what he's about. Who knows? Maybe he's better than you think. Hmm. So I think this is the fastest way down. This is the fastest way down. But well, the problem arises in that I've got to deal with these pillar which can be a bit draining on my health. Oh shoot, what do you What do you expect? Actually using all of my spirits to their full potential simplifies that fight a lot. Oh wow, Fungal Sorcerer is good. That one different. That one a lot different. Oh no! Melville, Melville, where are you? I'm sorry, I used your husband to kill you. That That's my bad, that's on me. Floral Sorceress, harnesses the wind to blow it. Away and meets before you. The charming sorceress, beset by grave illness, spent her days alone. Amongst flowers, she waited patiently for, his, for her lover's return. He left to seek a cure for her, but she only wished to be with him for what little time was left. Sorry. Should have used anyone but your husband to deal with you. I feel bad on that one. 
Okay. I think for everything else in here, I need I need some way to move underwater. So that room's about tapped out for what I can do with it. Let's rest up and rejiggle our spirits. Cooldown four and aquatic. Let's put her here. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I can upgrade her at, at all. Uh, stagnant Blight needed 30. Held 4. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. Given the amount of, of water that's coming up, I think it's safe to say we're going to begin it soon. Got entwined. Uh, nope. No matter how much I want to, I can't extend my jump's range just by dodging. Oh, oh, I made it that time. Thought I was going to go into a drink. Is there a back entrance here? Yes. Good. I want to get this shortcut open. Activate. Ah, oh, that's for the elevator. So it's down here. Another door, another weird waterfall. Wonderfully weird waterfall. A lot of water. Hm. And might not be able to use Garrett in the water, but he's a death sentence for anyone floating above it. Oh, there's another out. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, things are in the water. Uh. Oh, nice. So delightfully strong and delightfully strong in the water. There we go. Door to before is open. Ah. Coven, the kingdom. It's all over. Yeah, you said it. Still can't dodge I still can't dodge those worms worth the damn. <laughs> Let me check the map. Alright, so there's a couple ways down there, and it seems like I'm actually able to go that way. But, really want to take a look at what the other route that I passed up to go there is. Ah. Because, who knows what might be either way, and it seemed like that way down there 
I can't tell if it's doing the thing that games do where it sets you an annoying challenge right before you get the ability to deal with it effectively. Can't tell if it's that or if it's just setting up a set piece for, hey, no, don't go this way, or, way. we're expecting you to have this ability. Uh, either way, it seems like the way I'm going, ain't it? Mm. Oh, good, you're almost dead. Okay. Gonna go a bit higher, see if I can find somewhere to make that jump. If not, then this is an area we come back to later. Hmm. Yeah, down is the way we go. Makes sense, we're trying to get into the coven. Alright. Yeah, this is where we died last time. Ha! I actually got the dodge through that. There. Hmm. Alright, so that's a door to go on. Which we can't get. So it must be downwards. Yeah. So it looks like this entire column of water here is the full backtracking section. Yeah. And an enemy enemy. More enemy enemies. Oh, that's a regular fishman. I'm actually kind of disappointed that's on another an enemy enemy. Eh, got one. Wait, what? What did that open then? Oh, it must have opened the one back here, or. Yeah. No! Ah, I thought I could get it. Damn if I was quick enough. I was wrong. Well, good news is, every time we go through, the next time will be easier. If not because we've opened a better a shortcut, because we're a little bit more experienced into what to expect. And worst case, as with it, quite a few Metroidvania games. The music is just an absolute delight to help ease the pain of backtracking and dying. Okay, now I know not to be on that side of her. Yeah, another water column. Alright, so you're to help out. Pop a prayer. And... Where are we? Oh, we're at another respite, but... Yeah! Can't tell if we're going deeper in the right direction or we're just getting more lost. Hmm. Ooh. What's this? The Parish Way 3. 
Witnesses of the priestess' miracles knew they had found their savior. They spread word of her blessing, and slowly the white parish took form. The white parish worshipped no god. Rather, they followed the guidance of the white priestess, living so as to not to fall prey to the blight. Theirs is a peaceful existence, with days spent praying for tranquility over those who for tranquility over those who have been purified. Interesting. So it's essentially essentially the white parish is all the trappings of a medieval church, but but the role of the god and clergy are rolled into one. That's interesting. And this is the boss room, so, uh, gotta step away for a sec. I will be right back. Unfortunately, it's not really a good place to leave you with good music, so... Actually, I'm not going to be right back in that case. I'm going to backtrack to a point where there's actually music, so you're not just sitting in silence looking at me munch. <laughs> Nate TC water sits in silence. Yeah, no. Cannot have that. Because the music is so good. It, it would be a shame to do that. I'll be back in just a second. Hang tight. That is desktop audio, not my mic. I really have to re rearrange where my sources are in this. Ah, back. Ah! <laughs> you were lying in wait for that, weren't you? <laughs> I've been jumped by my own chat. <laughs> you just glitch into a stop. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think it's partially because I have a bad tendency and a even worse chair for when it comes to leaning back. And the other part is I have I have uh, locked up other people's models with with uh, oh, abusing tits. Dark Witch Elaine. Was this the Elaine in the letter we found earlier? Aw. Uh, Pretty wholesome, thanks. Ye <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need to pray. Oh, next phase. This phase and a lot more aggressive. Oh, wow, I jumped right into that. Jump right into that. I really have to use. Ah! <laughs> it's 
focusing too. Bah. 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 I think I got one in my mouth. Bah. <laughs> Look at Sylvie here, making it rain. Yeah, because I can deal a lot of damage to her. If I can get her... Oh, yeah, it's almost gone. Uh, I'm not sure how useful the fungal sorcerer is he here, opposed to... Oh! Oh! Oh, I know who I'm switching out next time I, I die. That is... Uh, the Sorceress does so much more stamina damage. Damn, missed. Ooh, ah. That went a lot better, and the next one's going to go even better, because I know to switch these two. I think I might get it this time. <sighs> Thankfully, I have a very low catch rate. This time for sure. Uh, if I don't just waste all all recharges on on the opening animation ha got it down Yeah, this is going to let me get a lot of early damage out on her. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! I'm just getting beaten, battered, and buffered from all sides. I think I'm starting to get the second phase now. Just the dip into hyperfocus ain't helping much. <laughs> okay. So we really want to lead with Sigrid and with Sigrid and the witch spirit I got. Yeah, because that's 300 on one. That's actually shown someone your tits. Oh, thank you for showing off my tits. <laughs> and the added benefit that was also extremely funny to me. <laughs> right. Yeah, if I can focus in. So I spam the command. Yeah, I don't mind at all. Hey, I'm the one who I'm the one who paid fifteen bucks just so chat could bully me. And we're at the ultimate. Last phase. Oh what the uh 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 huh uh, 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 That was an insta kill! I want one of those. <sighs> yeah, I think I totally have this boss figured out now. It's getting no problem. Insta kill? Okay. <laughs> Alright, Dark Witch Elaine. This time for sure. Don't mind what time is it there. Uh, it's 
about 920 for me. However, tomorrow is Friday, so that is not a consideration, really. Ah, quit teleporting. I got a bit. Yeah, central. To me, it's an odd time to stream. Ah, if you don't mind me asking, what time is it there for you? Ten a.m. Ah. Yeah, I, I have a couple people who are thirteen ahead. I know a couple people who, for me, they. S they s have already been streaming an hour by the time I wake up at, like, 7 for work. Just like, wow, that's an odd time to stream. Like, no, it's, it's normal for us. My oh, god, I think I'm going to be spinning my wheels on Dark Witch Elaine for the rest of this. Oh, that was a huge hit! The fall damage... I'm out of... Yeah, I'm not getting it this time. I dodged right into that. Yeah, you're the only one for me alive right now. It's early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny how easy I found for VTubing it is to make friends with people literally on the other side of the world. And on one hand, it's great because I'm meeting so many interesting people. But on the other, it's not that early, to be fair. Well, depends. If you wake up, if you wake up at nine, it's a bit early. Ah, no, I hit the wrong button. But yeah, on the other hand, it's like ah, it's hard to talk because I'm going to bed when you're getting up, and vice versa. Oh, ah, it's almost not. It's almost not worth doing it the two combo. Oh, it was worth it that time. And Garrett. Ah! Just walked into those two. And that one. Losing it. I'm falling apart here. That's just what's happening. <sighs> I'll try this a handful more times, but there's there's places I can I can explore if I know that with this boss I'm going to get new <laughs> the new uh, ability. Oh man, he's been streaming earlier than this. What you mean? Well, I did start it. I suppose I'd be 8 or 6 or 8 a.m. your time, depending on... I can't keep the time change straight. If it's 10 a.m. for you, 9 for me... It's only like 8 in the morning. Oh, wow. Just absolutely shredding her stamina. Of course, she's absolutely shredding my health, so we'll call it even. Hit him, it's okay, but I get your point. <laughs> Now, the real wild people are those who you know are in a similar time zone, but still stream at, like, 8 in the morning. Okay, these are insta-kills now. I have to watch out. I have to remember that. Ah! Ah, I would have dropped... I would have dropped her and gotten her that time. 
or doing a lot better. I'm really starting to learn the fight. And that's that's really the important thing here. Still not still not the interact button. No matter how much I wish it was. Hmm. Alright. Dodge. Get good hit on her there. Oh! Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, Nate. Always love a good... I always love a good uh, streamer to... learn stuff off of, if, even if it's history, like the streamer that introduced me to this game, or even more... <clears throat> ah! Just more uh, professional things. Bro, I haven't even done a lesson. Ah, but you're more professional than us. Ah! But as for the question for why bread, it, it's two part. The first, eh. the first part is because I really want, I only really got into VTubing through P and G being a PNG tuber first because I wanted to mess with reactive images and then I wanted to react mess with a Mandarin stream that would be fun then I want to mess with the uh, rigged models but I'm not exactly a good artist so this is about the best I could draw <laughs> but for the theme behind it in ge general that was a a nickname that I had from a friend group chat where I got caught just casually snacking on a couple pieces of raw bread and they're like and between that and some other general eccentric eccentricities I got like wow you're really like some eldritch whore but only focused on bread raw bread I just took a piece of white bread straight from from the loaf and ate it it tastes good well True, raw bread is dough. No, it, it was cooked. It was baked, but I have eaten a good amount of dough when I do bake bread. <laughs> ah. So I'm not exactly innocent of that. Yeah. Bread, that's fine. Yeah, I do love bacon a bit of stuff. I've had a... Oh, right! These are insta-kills! I forgot! Be a good amount of dough. This is cause for concern. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You gotta taste the dough first to make sure it's good. And then whatever you have left, you put in the bread. Now, I love uh, bacon stuff. Either from simple stuff, uh, although I have been, I have been accused by my brother of putting in weird stuff in cakes that I make, because I just like trying out stuff and seeing like, holy shit, does that actually work? So I baked a cake where a good amount. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've made a good amount of cakes where probably go for just chatting stream tonight and just put you on my head <laughs> hey I do have a one person who has a redeem that is bread hat and it's my model rigged and reactive on her head I actually have it like she gave me the art for it too yeah good luck on your just chatting stream because I know that you were concerned about that and all depending on where it is try to make it I taste this raw te Hey, you gotta. You just gotta try it. Got just from the curiosity of what would this taste like? <laughs> yeah, I'll try to jump in. Actually, I'll probably be at work when you start for tonight. I'll be able to jump in. Mmm, <laughs> ah. salmonella. Ah! I should have done the floral one that would have got me up. 
got me it up. Eh, what am I talking about? That would have knocked her down and given me a good hit of pouring damage on her and an opening. Mmm, <laughs> salmonella. Hey, a little bit of raw dough is fine. As a treat. Now, it's uh, cakes that my family has voiced their concerns about for when I make. Because I do stuff, I find stuff like weird recipes. I have one that it takes the a bit of flour and milk and subs it, subs it out for mashed potatoes. <laughs> and then there's another one I tried, which was a spice cake, which... <clears throat> ah, not exactly. It's more of a hobby. More of a hobby that's gotten out of hand. Oh, good hit. And now, these are in skills. She's got in skills here. All right, we're doing good. <laughs> oh, we still had one heal left. And I love the outfit change for this. Ah, I hit, I hit, ah, that would have been hit, would have been hit. And then, anyway, the spice cake that I was making, that called for a can of tomato soup. And it was good. It These all turned out really good. I've actually been asked to make the potato cake, all, all, like, often, just because it's Spain without the S. Oh, yeah. I'm in Spain without the S and A. I'm spinning here. They're all good cakes, but I think I did kind of traumatize my bro my brother when I told him that there's tomato soup in it. <laughs> been requested to please stop making weird cakes. So, yeah, it is interesting. It's actually a recipe from uh, Great Depression, 1920s or so, that I just didn't have much to spend on stuff, but still wanted cake, so they used absolutely whatever. Like, Depression-era interest recipes are super interesting just because a lot of them are either totally gross, but it's like, okay, I get it, you made that out of necessity, understandable, or surprisingly good. Like, it's weird, it's still, it's still definitely American stuff. But it's so old enough, it's so old and different, it's almost like a different country. Ha! Got... Got... The drop! Tomato soup cake from the 50s? Yeah! That's the one I was thinking. Come on! Oh, another insta kill orb. Yes! 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 <laughs> I. That's on the list of things I should get. Hey, are you in there? I have a list of things I need. The coven is lost. The place I fought so hard to protect. Everything I built up by my own hand brought to ruin. I risked everything to protect her. Rachia, the only friend I've ever known. 
I yearn only for your safety. Even now, I remember the day you eased the suffering of what was once my mother. The day you became the priestess of the fount, Fracia. Such precious time was taken from us, never to be returned. I continued my research in the host that it may have eased your burden. But it is all for naught that folly has become my own burden. I'll carry it to protect this place, at least until this horrid rain has fallen. I devoted my time to refining this magic. Time do I get back from work? Now it is time to put it to use. Ah, eh, 4.30. Bit earlier on. Get bit earlier on uh, Friday, 3.30. So, about five year time. Dark Witch Elaine fires ranged arcane projectiles, which home slightly on enemies in front of you. Elaine was raised in a coven of witches and was held as a gifted sorceress at an early age. Meeting the priestess eased her anxieties and loneliness. Witches bubble! One in water, move, attack, and dodge. Black magic wielded by Dark Witch Elaine that allows one to submerge, attack, and invade in any direction in blighted waters. Got swimming. Though she may fade, the ward protecting the coven shall ever remain. May you rest in peace. 5 p.m. Uh, p.m. <laughs> uh, wait. No, we're flipped. Uh, so, 3 in the... A.M., actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I once had a collab with a friend in the Philippines, and we had to block it out three or four times of what <laughs> what time we were supposed to be where just because of this. Uh, time zones are hard. Ooh, got swimming now. <laughs> All fairness, I am kind of on the other side of the world from you two. Who was this? I think military. Yeah, military time would be a whole lot easier when it comes to stuff like this. But unfortunately, some Joker thought. Oh, shoot. Some Joker thought, hey, no, screw that. We're having a 12 hour time. Which, in all fairness, is easier to put on an analog clock, but still. Mm. Ah! Stagnant play. Nice. We now have everything we need to explore this area. And can actually move in these columns. Nice. Right, collabing with different time zones is hard, and yeah, there are just some people that don't appreciate that you're fixing your sketch first collab with them. Yeah, that's rough when it happens. That, I can see that being rough. Oh, shoot, that's not my poison. I thought it was my poison. Really gotta respect the other person's time. I, I know with that, I ended up waking up at 7 in the morning just because... There's nothing stopping me from doing it, and it kind of worked out better because I didn't have the same concerns that the other person had. But it's something that the further apart you guys are in time zones, the more it just gets more and more difficult, and you have to be conscious of it. It's great fun if you can get it to work out. All right. I don't think there's anything else in here for me. Yeah. 
Poison. Poison works pretty well in water. Okay, where else could there be something? Because the map's telling me that I'm still missing one thing in here. I think there's some more water down here. No, that's where I That's where I fought the area the mini boss. So, fortunately, that's just how some go. Yeah, sucks. Hmm. Might be something up. That's a mimic, ain't it? Ah! I don't think there's really anything in there for me anymore. <laughs> Although. Why do you assume we're from PH? Oh, I didn't. I, I was talking about a friend I had over there who had the same time, had a similar time zone where she was one hour ahead of me. I actually still don't have any clue where you guys are from. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with time zones. I'll go from pole to pole. Memories. Hands, can I... See if there's anything up here. Ah, thorns. Classic. Ah, night class. Yeah, those are never fun. I always made a point to to avoid those when I was in school, but I remember having a roommate who who had I think in one day he had 8 a.m.s and either him or another one of our friends had 8 p.m.s okay there has to be something else over here for just to get the that last door oh he's still not dead Oh, that's the last door. And I need more abilities to get over there. Hmm. Looks like we can continue go from up going up now. Or Yeah, cuz I think oh. Ouch. Uh don't swim in that, I guess. Yeah, that's Poison Swamp. Hmm. Not actually quite sure where to go now. Because everything further to the right here, that requires more abilities to get up and over things. I bet I could finish out that second side room and find a path off of there. Go back. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all this water is blighted and should not be swamming. Yeah. Oh, 
has a hide UI button for this sh for the sole reason of photo mode. Are you asleep by the time you come home? Eh. That's how it that's how it shakes out. I have missed so many people. Or you never can never catch me stream unless I stream weekends. Eh. Or unless I'm doing something stupid and staying up very early. But again, doesn't. that's just the sad truth of the facts. I have a few people who I can never catch their streams unless I wake up early or go to bed late. Simply because of time zone differences. But at the same time, it doesn't make sense for them to, or anyone really, to adjust schedule for that. If you wake by the time you come back. <laughs> That's about as big of a red flag as as I only eat a little bit of bread. Or a little bit of dough. Oh wait, yeah, I'm on the oh. I can just Just hang out out of reach of them down here. Nice. Ah. I can dodge. Alright. Heal up before they attack. Get one down so I don't have to deal with that. Ah, 5 to 6 a.m. is roughly when you wake up. I see what you mean now. And it kind of sucks getting up that early, but in all honesty, I like getting up early a lot more than staying up late. Because you just get more time in the in the day, in my opinion. Like, if you wake up at 5 or 6 and then get done the stuff you need to do, you got a lot more time to work with in the end of the day. Which is where more stuff can be done, really. Where am I looking at? Where am I going? Oh, that's another prayer power-up. Just need to find the switch. Oh, hey, the switch. And... Ah! Oh. Tarnished picture. A picture of the priest of white priestess of the fount. It appears that the white priestess was allowed entrance to the coven, a space usually exclusive to sorcerers, and a magical tool was made there for her. Okay, so that must be what we have left to find in here. Whatever that tool was. This thing maybe potentially could collapse sometimes in the future, but it looks like your time zone is such a barrier. First of all, I'd be down for that. We just have to find it'd probably be a we'd probably be able to do a weekend collab because I'm willing to wake up early for it. I that is not a problem. It'll probably just be at a weird time for both of us. It's something to hash out later down the line. Hmm. You know, given the time and what we have to do. And the fact that I'm not really sure what, where to go next. I actually think I might call it here. Let me just pull up Twitch, yeah, Twitch quick, and see if we have anyone to raid. Ah. Yeah, but if we went somewhere in the middle, I mean, both would not be streaming our usual time schedule. Yeah, could probably try to skew it so I'm a bit closer to you for, or we're a bit closer to you for your regular time, because I'm fine being off schedule. I'm not sure it makes that big of a difference. For me, at least. And again, if you have fun with it, then... It depends if you're making the, if you're looking for live viewers or VOD viewers, which I'm good with whatever, but that's something 
to that. That's something to hash out another time. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming. I appreciated talking to you and hanging out and playing tonight so much. Hope to see you again. Um, next stream will be next week, Tuesday, which we'll be finishing up Paper Mario 64. Happy happy time zones. Wow, this tits. The tits system is something. Yeah. Have a good one to you, too. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to send you over to Proper Darling. She's playing uh, Breath of the Wild and is a good friend. Great chill vibes. Yep. See you next time. Bye.